everybody, David Plummer and Michael Ferguson here from Aerial Influence. Today, we are gonna put the Phantom 4 RTK to the test. This is obviously a DJI product that is very, very precise, especially when paired with the RTK base station. What are we specifically gonna be doing today, Michael, with the, the Phantom 4? So we did a 3D map, and then from that map, we can then plan within that map. So we're planning automated waypoints um, within the 3D map, and then you can execute it through Terra. So step number one is um, making the map. So that's gonna involve basically making the map on uh, either your phone or through DJI Terra. Right. Today we're gonna do it through Terra, correct? Right. It's also a pretty windy day today. Phantom 4 wouldn't have any problem with this. It's uh, like 16 mile an hour sustained winds, around 30 mile an hour wind gusts. Uh, pretty high wind gusts, but uh, that shouldn't be an issue for the Phantom 4. No, we're, we're gonna put the the prop guards on just in case because we're going to try to go into some areas that might be a little tight yeah you know with the, whether there's uh between two buildings or trees whatnot um so yeah just throwing the prop, prop guards on so this would be uh, a it's so that's obviously safety first always uh but this can be used for you know a lot of different things like if somebody was doing an inspection of like say a building or a certain area that they needed to do over and over again they could take this map run the exact same map every single time take pictures or video of the exact same things at the exact same angles every right. single time and that's because they're using DJI Terra. So my background is in the world of television. I worked in TV for about 25 years. So for me, I see the examples of what could be done, uh, yeah. you know, in like the film world where somebody could literally take a 3D map of the film set, wherever it was they were gonna be filming, whether that's in the middle of a Roman cathedral or, you know, yeah. wherever they were gonna before, be. Before you get the guy that gets paid the big bucks, the director coming in, you could have somebody go out you know, shoot a 3D map yeah. and essentially kind of pre-plan the shots. Pre-plan like you your shots yeah. before you even get to set. Right. Uh, and you're not wasting time. You're gonna save a lot of money and save, save a lot of time as well. Okay, so the map that we're gonna be pulling from is the AI 3D planning map. So we just did the, the 360 map. And we're gonna pull that up. Okay, so this is our model. There was 359 photos. And I'll show you. So this is what we're looking at. And so essentially, since we've got this 3D map in this point cloud, we can now start to plan within this map. So I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna go back out. We're going to go to waypoints and we're going to hit new mission waypoints we'll just name this one 3d waypoint mission now over here where it says 2d 3d you need to click that. And what we're gonna be doing is clicking 3D model and we're gonna pull from the 3D map that we just did. So it's basically gonna load that up into our waypoint planning. All right, so now you basically can, you know, so, sorry. Now import. Now we've got a little picture in picture of our 3D map. And we've got the drone on and everything, so you can see where it says home, it's, you can see where the arrow is pointing, where, which direction our Phantom 4 RTK is. And essentially you can start adding these waypoints, okay? If you need any refreshers on how to do a 3D map, We've got videos on that, so feel free to look back at some of those. And David will put a link somewhere in the description. Okay, so now I'm gonna to start to set the waypoints. I'm gonna actually go into 2D right now. And I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna set the first waypoint basically by the entrance. Okay, so over on the right hand side, you see flight route settings and waypoint settings. So flight route settings are gonna be the overall 
uh, settings and parameters for the compl for all of the flight for everything. So if you were going to just um, you know do one altitude, y you could essentially make a pretty quick waypoint thing. But what you can do here with waypoint settings, this is where you can go into each individual waypoint. So as you see, I'm going to put another waypoint here. So now, now over here on the right, it changes to waypoint two because it says that I've got two waypoints. So you can basically add these and then you can individually edit each waypoint and we'll get into that. But this is what we're going to actually do. We're going to go along the, dr the uh, drive through the farmhouse between not through the farmhouse but between the farmhouse and the office and then we're gonna essentially sit it right in front of the door all while doing video and then we can also change the uh, the gimbal pitch we can change the altitude we can change the speed we can add different waypoint actions as far as start record um, you can change the uh, the position of the camera so let's go back to start and this is where I'm going to see. start record go back here real quick all right so that is waypoint one So we've got everything set up for the waypoint within the 3D map that we did earlier. So basically I'm just gonna do this hit start and the drone will you know, take off, go to the start point, and then I have it kind of ratcheting down in, in altitude from you know, around 100 something down all the way, it'll finish at about 10 feet. So once it, it'll kind of round this driveway, at the corner here, it'll be at about 10 feet, then it'll go through the two buildings towards the front of the office, and then um, and it'll basically have it there hovering for about 20 seconds. So you'll also be able to see you know, the parameters once it goes to each waypoint, you'll see you know, what the telemetry is as far as like speed. So I've lowered the speed when it's going through stuff, lowered the height, obviously, so we can make sure that we're away from trees and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's get started.
So that is the way you use waypoints to basically set up autonomous flight. And you know, the, yeah. the, the ways that you can set it up. And, and again, like we were saying, it could be so useful just in terms of a lot of different businesses where you're having to fly the same route over and over again. Right. Uh, you save that map and every time you go back, you use that map again to shoot it and it can be very, very useful for people, so. Yeah, and then you've got the 3D map already made, so you can come back and even tweak it, you know? We could do another one and tweak it a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of applications for it. All right, uh, Michael, tell people thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs>